Hey, Jeremy here with the Practical IT Channel. Today we're going to look at something rather simple, but very useful for desktop Linux users. And you could even use this technique if you're running Windows Subsystem for Linux. So let's take a look. All right, we're connected here to my Ubuntu machine that's running in another room. And what we're gonna do here is we are going to make a selection of ISO images that we wanna download. We're going to put the file location in a text file, and then we're gonna use wget to read that text file and auto download these for us. One great thing about this is that you can shut down all the rest of your applications and just leave your terminal running and it will just hum along in the background and download those ISO images for you to use at a later time. So let's head over to DistroWatch and we're just going to grab a couple of ISO images uh, locations and this is a distribution I've never in my life tried uh, let's get 64-bit Mate version we're gonna say copy link location and we'll head over here to our terminal and we'll say nano distros.txt and we're going to paste that in. Again, if you're not familiar with some of the Linux shortcuts, all you have to do is highlight or copy from the browser and then a middle click on your, typically your scroll wheel on a mouse, a middle click uh, will auto paste it for you. Uh, you can also use the right click and click paste in the menu but I find this way to be quicker so let's jump back over here so keep in mind that uh, with wget you can grab any sort of file that is stored on a web server uh, let's just let's pick on dragonfly BSD let's say so if we come over to the dragonfly BSD page we can find a link to their download. And at some point we should find a download live image, 64 bit. Okay, so this is an ISO as a bzip2 file. So we're gonna right click that copy we're gonna come over here to our terminal middle click to paste it all right control X yes to save all right so to download these two files all you have to do is simply type wget dash I distros.txt and hit enter and it'll go out and it will start downloading our file for us. And so that's, that's all there really is to that. So again, if we connect to the Windows machine, we're gonna open up Windows Terminal and the Ubuntu in here all right so we are in the home folder and we want to be in downloads all right so we've got a couple ISOs out there which is great so let's head out we will uh, start a set of downloads from the Windows machine and basically it's going to be the same process uh, so let's say we want to download I don't know pop OS 
We can come out here. And we want this link here. Uh, copy link location. We'll head back to our terminal. We're going to say nano distros.txt. And this time you right click to paste. Okay. And we're just going to do the one here. And we can set the same thing on this one git dash i distros.txt. And it works exactly the same way as under a uh, standard true Linux install. And I'm sure you can do this on BSD Unix. Anywhere that you've got the wget utility, that dash i is going to allow you to specify a file name and you can set it to download files. Again, this is a great alternative to using a download manager in your web browser, you don't need to add separate software in order to do this. Uh, there are great tools built in if you want to take a little time to learn a little bit about them. So that is all for our video today. Uh, if you got something out of this video, please take a moment to like and subscribe. Uh, click the bell icon for notifications and feel free to leave comments down below. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and happy computing. I'll see you in the next video.